an artist based in Great Yarmouth along the Norfolk coast. I'm a community artist, which means that I am an artist that works with people in places like schools, libraries, museums, and outdoors in public spaces. So my training was in art photography, and I also work in textiles, drawing, and use found and natural materials in my art making. In this video, I'm going to be sharing some short drawing approaches that I use. We'll be drawing from my still life setup arrangement here, but afterwards, feel free to use the drawing approaches that we're going to do together from your own still life setup arrangement at home. So in my display, you can see I've included some candlesticks, a fruit bowl, uh, a vase, uh, a little jug, some plants and a guitar. And backed around the scene, there's also drapes of fabric. And on the surface, I've used some different cloths and tea towels and table coverings to set the scene as well. So we'll be drawing using three different approaches and each will be three minutes long. And I'll be drawing along with you too. So the first drawing that we're gonna do together is a continuous line drawing. So what I mean by that is when we start the three minutes, you'll put your pen or your pencil on the page and you won't lift it off until the three minutes is finished and then you can lift your pen or pencil away. So let's see how we get on. So choose an item to start drawing from and I'm gonna set the timer so you can start now. So as I say, we're gonna have three minutes to do our continuous line drawing. So I'm gonna be drawing along with you and let's see how we go. So continuous line drawing makes you draw quite slow and quite careful because you can't just pick your pencil or your pen back off the page and move it to a new location. Actually, you really need to think quite carefully. How am I going to move across my space? How am I going to get in all the details I want into my image? So don't worry if you make a mistake. Remember, this is just really nice, simple drawing, warm ups. This could be a start of you doing some more drawing in your own time. But I think in its own right, it's a really nice way to get started. So we're one minute in. That means we're gonna have just under three minutes altogether. So a couple of minutes left. So think about how you're going to move to the different elements of whatever object it is you've drawn. So I've gone for the jug. So I'm having to overlap my lines to get to the other sections to include all the patterns and the full shape of it. So think about how you're going to do the same thing when you're drawing your object. And remember, don't lift your pencil or your pen off the page until we've finished. So you have to think quite cleverly. How you're going to do it. Okay, I'm just carefully overlapping my lines. So we're going to have another minute. There we go. So just see in this last minute, what extra details can you add? And, and what clever way are you going to think about moving to different parts of your image? So I'm just overlapping. I haven't lifted my pen off the page. So I'm just keep going and going with my drawing. Just round and round over and over. So I'm gonna have the last 30 seconds now. So half a minute left, just to get those last details in. And don't worry if it looks wobbly or if it looks how you, didn't expect it to look, it looks different. That's okay, it's all part of the warming up because we just try all different approaches and we just give it a go. So last 10 seconds or so now. So time to get in those final details. Do you wanna add some shading or is there something else you've missed from the object? Okay, so finish up now. So, I've had a go at the jug. So you can see here, 
my lines have all overlapped. They start to make, make um, quite thick lines around the edge. You can see where I went a little bit wrong here, but that's okay. It's all part of, part of, part of the drawing process, part of learning and developing. So there we go, that was mine. So hopefully you've got something that looks maybe similar, whatever you've chosen in the continuous line style. I hope you enjoyed that. So find a new piece of paper or draw somewhere in the corner of your page if you've got space um, and get ready for the second drawing exercise. So we're still gonna have three minutes. And for this one, I'd like you to draw an object or part of the scene without looking at your page. Okay, so if it helps to hold it a little bit closer to you, get in a comfortable position. I'm gonna have mine down here so you can just about see, I'm gonna be drawing along with you and then I'll show you at the end. So choose an object or a part of the arrangement and then get started. So without looking at the page, you could choose your starting position, but then once you've started drawing, I don't want you to look at your piece of paper. And this is a good one because sometimes you draw what you think you see, not what you can actually see. And it's actually just really good to just enjoy the process of looking. Because sometimes when you're drawing, you know, you get caught up in just kind of drawing what we assume or not really looking at the subject, even if we've got a, you know, a really great display in front of us. So this is a good way of kind of training yourself to really look. So as your eyes are scanning the objects, it's like your pen or your pencil will also do the same. It'll also scan the objects. And so you just enjoy the process and of the unexpected. I'll just do a time check. So we're one minute in. So just see how you get on. And we know this is all, you know, it's gonna be wobbly and it's gonna be unexpected, but that's part of the joy of it. And I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with you know, doing things that we don't expect and doing some different mark making that is, you know, different from our normal style. It's really, really good. And you'll get something that you, you didn't plan to make, but that's okay. It's all part of the fun of it. So hopefully you're still not looking at your, your page and you're just drawing. I'm just going to do a time check. So we've got just over one minute left okay so last chance to get in any of that detail so what did you want to include what did you want to exclude you might be trying to sort of carefully follow where you think the placement might be or you might just be going for it and that's okay any approach is great so whatever works for you I'm going to get in this texture of this basket if I can. I don't know if I've got the placement right, but that's okay. So we're going to have the last 30 seconds or so. And just try and resist looking, which is really, really hard. Okay, so we have the last 20 seconds just to finish up. Last little bit of detail, but don't feel like you've got to rush. You can always revisit these exercises in your own time from your own objects. Okay, so last five seconds. Right, and stop there and have a look what you created. So I've got my still life um, of, the, of the fruit bowl here that I had a go at. So you can see the basket weave in there, which is just here. And obviously I'm looking from a slightly different direction, but I've also got the banana with all the dots on it, the shape of the pear, there's a bit of an apple, there's the second pear there. And look at my grapes, they've sort of burst all over the top of the scene. So hopefully you've got something wild and unexpected. So we're gonna move on to our third and final drawing approach now. So get yourself a new piece of paper ready. And for this one, we're gonna be drawing with both hands. So you'll need two pencils, two pens, two kinds of drawing tools. So whatever you've chosen to, to draw with today. So get those two tools ready, choose a part of the scene or an object. And we're gonna draw with both hands for our three minutes. 
So this is going to be a little bit tricky and a little bit of a challenge, but let's see how we get on. So you might want to um, think about how you're going to do it or just go into it and see, see how you get on. So I'm going to be drawing along with you. So um, whenever you're ready to start, you can start. So I'm going to have a go at this long sort of spider plant. So make sure that when you're drawing, both your hands are always moving at the same time, okay? So it's quite the challenge, but how can you keep that drawing going when both hands are engaged? So both sides of the brain, both hands, it's quite sort of physical. It takes a lot of thought. Will the left hand be doing the left side of the object and the right hand be doing the right hand? Or maybe you'll have another approach. It's entirely up to you, whatever works for you. Just see how you can keep both hands moving and both hands drawing. And just see how you get on. So it's quite a challenge, this one. You know, think about how you're gonna navigate both hands. So we're one minute in now. So that means we've got two minutes left. And you'll probably start to notice, you know, how your different hands control in different ways. Obviously, if you're ambidextrous, you're used to using two hands. But if you're not like me, you know, this is quite a challenge, but it's hopefully good fun to try. It's quite hard to get that kind of control, but you know, it's all good practice. There's no time wasted when you're drawing. So we're halfway through now, so another minute and a half left. So hopefully time to work on your image and, and just try this new approach. It's quite different. You know, if you've never done it before, it is quite a challenge. And even if, like me, you've done this quite a few times, it's still a challenge. So, you know, don't worry if you find it a bit tricky. Hopefully you're getting on okay. So we've got about just under a minute left. So what details can you include? Keep both of those hands moving. Okay, so last few seconds just to finish up. The last 10 seconds now. Right. There we go. Finish up wherever you are. Give both of those hands a rest. There we go. So let's have a look. So I was having a go at the, the spider plant, which is the one that's got all these strands and spikes coming out. There we go. So you can see in my left hand, I had the orange pen. And in my right hand, I had the green pen. And you can kind of see the different styles and the different sides of control, especially when you look here, it's sitting on a, on a plate. And you can see my left hand, you know, getting that circle of the plate was quite difficult. But with my right hand, I found it sort of easier because I'm, I'm right-handed, so I could find the control quite easier. So hopefully you've had fun giving that a go. Do try your own from your own still life setup. And I hope you have lots of fun drawing. Bye.